coming to you live back again with another video we are going to be lowering the third gen this will be a reverse level again i've seen some videos of this i'm just gonna put my spin on it not saying anybody does it right or wrong but ultimately what we're trying to do is achieve the same ride height up front as we are in the back and we're going to achieve that by flip-flopping some lift plates so without further ado first thing you're going to do you're going to disconnect these shock mounts those are down here so you got to do each side driver and passenger Now on this truck, as you can see, we have airbags. You're gonna have to disconnect the top two bolts on each side. There's one over there, one up front, and then two more on the other side. The nice part is they are a carriage bolt, so they don't have to spin. All you gotta do is take those off. It's a heck of a lot easier to get to them from the outside. From here, you're gonna jack up the body. The easiest way I found, put a hitch in the receiver and just jack it up. You're trying to separate the body from the frame. Now, once both tires are off the ground, you take your super sketchy Harbor Freight jack stands and you set them up in a good spot, which would be right here. And we'll do the same on the other side. All right, then you're gonna take your tires off, put some jack stands under the axle, let the axle down onto the jack stands. And again, you want as much separation as you can get. You can see here why we had to get the um, shocks and airbag mounts off. They weren't cooperating. Now we're gonna go ahead. These have been soaking in WD. I'm gonna go ahead and try and zip these off. Mama didn't raise no girls, so we're gonna use chrome on the impact. One, two, three, four. And then you'll take this plate off and basically the object is you're going to take these two spacers three spacers right here and put them on top that way you don't need new u-bolts and you're changing it about three quarters one inch lower instead of raising the front now you gotta undo these bolts up here and they are a non bolt head below so you take a pair of vice grips and you clamp them on and hope you can save them Or you get real lucky like we did and they're so rusted in doesn't even matter we gotta go up quite a bit all right We're gonna add this C-clamp, keep the stack 
tight because we need that extra clearance on those bolts. Now we can pull this out. And now from here, we are just going to take these two plates and we're going to move them to the top. So the object of the game is quite simple. Separate it because it's rusted. We had to cut that bolt, so good riddance. You don't want to hit the th bolt threads if you plan on reusing them. It will get very hard to put them back on. As you can see, frustration got the better of me. That's fine. They get seized on this shank right here. So what we'll do, we'll just grind this down a little bit. That way we don't have to worry about it. Now from here, once you get it all disassembled, you're just gonna kind of rock it back and forth. Get these bolts back in like so. And then Put our isolator plate back on. First, we gotta clean up this, but isolator plate. Get this all cleaned up. Like so. And then we'll put our two blocks that we took out from below like that. And the only thing we're taking out is the overload spring, which the factory U-bolts have enough to accommodate for that. Makes the truck ride terrible. And with the airbags, we actually don't really need it. So we'll go ahead, tighten this stack back up. Since they're broke free, I'm gonna have to use the old uh, vice grips here. Again, there's no wrench because of how they're designed. And then you just tighten the pack back up. Like so. Do the other side. Like that. And there's that side. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just get the overload out, put these two on top, and then we will get all this lined up and situated back in the perch. Now we have to go down. The only problem you're gonna run to is the pinion slides for it. That's no big deal. I would recommend a buddy. Basically, one of you guys is going to work the jack. The other one of you is going to rake the axle forward. So, the other one will work the front floor jack to try and align the axle again. All right, go ahead and go down, Mar. Looking good thus far. Hold on, hold on. Um, you want to put your shock on the outside of the bracket by having the shock outside it makes life a little bit easier 
when you're going to align it. All right, buddy. Okay, we're down. Yep. Easy. All right, keep going. I'm in like that. Make sure this is centered up. You're good as new. All we gotta do, put everything back together. Plates on, U-bolts on, shocks on, airbag mounts hooked back up, and you're ready to go. We have both sides tightened up. Now we're going to move on to the shocks, airbags, same as reverse. We'll put the tires on, show you guys how it looks. This in the wall. Nine and a half. Whoa. Eight, Eight and, and a half. half. So we're still a little bit tall in the back. It's always good. Yep. So there she is, reverse leveled, sitting on her own weight. As you can see, just got rid of a lot of rake that this truck had. Again, we subtracted those two plates when we put them on top of the pack. And then this overload, so I would guesstimate right around 7 eighths to 1 inch. But again, this is something you can do that's free. The only thing you might be out is one of those bolts. Very easy to do. That's going to be a wrap on tonight's video. Again, there's a lot of different videos on how to do it. I just figured I'd show you guys how I do it. Um, it is nice to have two people. I have done it by myself. It does make life a little bit more complicated. Luckily for us, the truck was rusty. However... We had enough in stock parts to make it happen. Got the airbags hooked back up. Now all we gotta do is put the traction bars on. That'll be in an upcoming episode. She'll be ready for some burnouts. Stay tuned.